It is time for my most, or not my most anticipated list. It is time for my worst list of 2015. The movies that were so bad that I don't even want to talk about them. And I saw some, I saw 202 movies from 2015 released in the year. So, it's going to be some really oddball movies that you probably never heard of. Just warning you right there. And that means that some movies that are going to be on other people's worst list aren't going to be even on my honorable, or dishonorable mentions. Because the re the reason that they're not going to be some of them not, aren't going to be on there, Pixels, Fantastic Four, those type of movies, they aren't going to be on there because I saw so many bad movies this year that was like really oddball ones. So they kind of outweighed them. So we'll get to the dishonorable mentions right here. Some of them you'll hear you've heard of, heard of. Some of them you won't won't have. All right, my first dishonorable mention: Team Beach Two. That's all I need to say about it. Uh, my second honor or dishonorable mention, uh, Wreck 4. I liked the first Wreck after that. Well, I haven't seen the other ones, so I guess I can't really judge. But this is kind of a continuation of the first movie in a way. Um, but yeah, just terrible. There's some good practical effects, but that's about all I can say about this movie that was good. Dragonheart 3, a movie that no one saw, and I saw it on Netflix one day, and it sucks, and it's terrible, and... No. Strange Magic, a movie that George Lucas wrote, the creator of Star Wars. This movie was terrible. Probably the worst animated movie I've seen all year. Now, uh, I'm looking at my list now because I'm trying to think. Yeah, probably the worst one I've seen all year. Ah, Hot Pursuit. Oh my gosh, I wanted to blow my brains out while watching this. It didn't even make my list. That's how many bad movies I've seen this year. There's, there were so many bad movies this year. All, great movies, too, but bad movies. Gosh. Hot Pursuit, the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Or, no. That's an overstatement. One of the most annoying things I've ever seen. There's some things on here that were a lot more annoying than that. All right, Mordecai. Johnny Depp, I feel bad for you until Black Mask came out. When Black Mask came out, he got to show um, that he could, he could still act. But Mordecai, oh my gosh, dude. I love you, Johnny Depp, but what was wrong with you? <sighs> Bad Hair Day, a Disney Channel movie. Once again, like Team Beach 2, they're both Disney Channel movies. Don't need to say anything about it. It's a Disney Channel movie. <sighs> the Lion Guard, a kind of spin-off type movie of The Lion King, and it raged my... Um, childhood and I hated it and you probably never heard of it but it's basically a spin-off of The Lion King it sucks Black Hat a movie that's supposed to be really exciting it's probably the biggest snooze of the year gosh and finally my last dishonorable mention Pan a movie that destroyed the magic of Peter Pan that's all we need to say about it. Number 10, a movie directed by the director of The Fast and the Furious. What the heck happened to this? The Boy Next Door. Oh my gosh, such a generic movie. So many plot holes. And it was it was made in I think like 20 something days. That right there should tell you something. Jennifer Lopez is an English literature professor. What was this movie? It was such a generic copy of a fatal attraction. Oh my gosh. Just. What was this? It was fun to watch, but not in a good way. <sighs> Number nine. A Lifetime movie. A Deadly Adoption. I, I. The reason this movie isn't like number one or anything is because it knows what it is. It knows it's terrible. It's supposed to be terrible. And it is. That's why it's not number one on my list. Number eight, a generic found footage horror movie that you've probably never heard of. Area 51, an alien found footage movie at that. Made the people, by the people who made Paranormal Activity. The director of Paranormal Activity, actually. Gosh, this movie just sucks. It's everything I hated about Paranormal Activity, but worse. Just stay away. Freaking horror movies, man. They, they should be getting better. Uh, number seven, a Netflix movie with Adam Sandler. What is happening to Adam Sandler? The Ridiculous Six. Oh my god. 
Taylor Lautner in this movie. What happened? The most annoying character of the year. Oh my gosh, I wanted to blow my brains out watching this again. Just like Hot Pursuit. This is even more annoying than that movie. Adam Sandler, I used to be a fan of you, man. What happened? Ugh, okay. Number six, a Fast and the Furious spoof movie, Super Fast. <laughs> you probably never heard of this either. I watched it on Netflix. It's just a terrible spoof movie. Just... No! Alright, number five. Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. Again, with the horror movies. This was such a snooze, but at the same time, it did nothing new or original, and it this was supposed to be a finale, too. It didn't tie up barely any loose ends at all. And the, the, even the ghost didn't look cool. He's just a big CGI, uh, like, black, gooey thing. I don't know. It was just such a, such a bad movie. Oh, my gosh. Number four, a movie with Nicolas Cage and Hayden Christensen, Outcast. A uh, movie that probably no one even saw, but once again, saw it on Netflix. And I like the over-the-top over the top Nicolas Cage performance in this movie, but it's it's atrocious. It's it's so bad. It's such a um, uh, hyper, hyper-actively edited movie with such bad action and Dutch angles. And it just looks so ugly. Just an atrocious movie. Number three, Men with the Iron Fists 2. I, a straight-to-DVD sequel. I didn't know, I, did, I thought the first one wasn't very good, and then I watched this. Like, what was this movie? Everyone sp spoke perfect English because no one wants to read subtitles anymore. The heck happened with this movie? I, I didn't like the first Man with the Iron Fist movie, but I thought this one could be okay, but then I saw that it was straight to DVD. Then I watched it, and it confirmed that. Number two, a movie that you can show to your friends and have have a great reaction out of them. Otherwise, it's just atrocious. The Human Centipede 3, final sequence. There's three of these movies. There's three of these movies. Tom Six, you're a sick freaking pervert. Alright, number one. The movie that made me want to blow my brains out the most. The live-action version of Attack on Titan. I I was debating on reviewing this movie. I wanted to, but I didn't have I didn't know what to say about it because it's so incredibly bad that I just I couldn't freaking stand it. Like I love the anime Attack on Titan. It's such a great anime. Everything from that anime is completely freaking. I don't even know. Oh, it just demolishes the um the original anime that it's based off of. Just what was this? The characters weren't right. They were s disposable wooden objects, and the Titans looked terrible. What what happened with this movie? Oh my! Ah, the sad part about this is, is I was excited for this movie too, so that added to the disappointment. I never had to talk about those again. Thank you. Those are my top 10 worst movies of the year. I know movies like Fantastic Four and Pixels and Fifty Shades of Grey weren't on my list because I saw so many bad movies. But trust me, they're bad movies and I know they're bad. Just they didn't make my list because there's so many bad movies this year. Don't worry, this was a great year. It just had a lot of bad movies. I saw 202 movies, so you're destined to see a lot of bad ones out of that. I saw probably like 90 something bad ones out of the 200, which isn't great, but I saw a lot of great movies too. So, that that was 2015 right there. Um, we're done. It's over. I've seen everything I need to see. Review. Um, once again, video game reviews are coming since January is going to be a really slow month. There's going to be more video game reviews. There will be movie reviews, but there isn't too much coming out in January that I'm too interested in. So, yeah. But. That was 2015. We're done. Happy New Year, people. It's probably up on like the first or second, so. Hope you had a great New Year's Eve, I guess. I don't know. Well, so that is my top 10 of worst movies of 2015. See you next year. I guess technically it'll be up tomorrow, but.
for right for me it's New Year's Eve. So yeah, see you next year technically. Peace.